So in this video, I am really excited to show you one of my absolute favorite productivity tools as a designer. I think it's gonna blow your mind if you haven't come across it before. It literally saves me hours of time each week when I am creating logo files for my brand design clients. So if you want to learn how to save time and create better quality file packages to send to your clients once the brand design project is over, stick around and I'm gonna show you exactly how I use it. So I wanted to demonstrate this tool in use on a real life brand project that I've been working on for a bridal studio that I've been working with. What I'll typically do at the end of a branding project is create um, what I call a brand board, um, where I've just kind of popped all of her different logo variations and sub marks and the mood board, uh, color palette and text and everything onto one kind of canvas here in Adobe Illustrator. Um, and then I send that to her for her approval. So now what I need to do is export all of these logo files into actual files that she can use um, in various different types as well. So normally the exporting process is really boring because you want to make sure that you're getting all the different color variations, that you're getting all the different file type variations, so giving it to her in a PDF, in a PNG, all of that kind of stuff. It used to take me at least an hour or so um, to export all the files in the right way, which was just really boring and a bit of a time drain, but this tool does it all automatically. Um, so what I do is I have the extension installed and I just click this button up here. Um, and you can see it's called Logo Package Express 2.2. That's the version that we're using. And it's asking me to select a logo and set that as the logo or the core logo that I want to export. And I do this for each of the different types of logos. So I will do one for this main logo up here, a second one for this kind of horizontal version of the logo down here, and then a third one for the submark um, or like the stamp version of the logo that, I'm that I've designed down here. So first of all, I'm going to select this and then I'm going to select set logo here on this extension. And what this does is it opens up a new tab in Illustrator and this is the master logo artwork. Over here on the extension on the right hand side, it's also asking me if I want to set the logo mark. So this would be if you were designing a logo that maybe had like an icon at the top that you wanted to provide the um, the client with separately, like a little um, logo or you were including the submark on top of the logo or something like that. In this case, I'm not doing it like that. This is the actual the and and the wolf are actually the name of the brand, so I don't want to separate those out. But then it also gives you the option to select the logo type, so that's kind of the main name of the brand in the logo. Um, and then the tagline as well, in this case that is Bridal Studio. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of the parts that I want to set as the logo type so that she can have this separately as well. Um, and then I'm highlighting the tagline as well so that she can have that separate if she wants, um, but it will create a separate version um, separating it from the name above as well. So then you'll see I have these two options underneath, one that's asking if I want to make print versions of the logos or if I want to make web versions. I usually go with web versions first, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna click make and then you'll see it's automatically making all of these files in different colors and everything for me and breaking them up into their different types. So um, another thing to note with this extension is you can customize it however you want. So if we click these settings here um, on the extension, you can set what different file formats you want to have these export as. These are kind of my typical web and print ones that I will want to provide to the client so they can use it in different ways. You can also change how the files are named when we do click the export button um, and it saves it to my computer. You can change various elements to do with that. You can also change um, what these kind of colors are labeled here because you've got full color, one color, white, black, inverted, which might not be how you actually want to label the colors. Um, and these will be in their own folders as well. So it's important to customize this how you actually want it. Um, you can also add scale, so set how big you want to provide some of these files in. 
um, and also whether you want to add padding around the edge of the logo as well. And of course you can change what kind of uh, Pantone colour conversions you want to include and things like that. Um, so definitely have an explore of the settings of the extension before you actually go to create your first logo and export those files. So we've got these different colour versions down here. I'm actually going to tweak mine a little bit because I want to have this pale version here as the kind of the main colour that's going to be used on dark backgrounds. And then I'm just going to go back to my brand board here um, and just grab this colour code and pop it over here to these options as well. So that instead of having it all in black, I've got a, um, a dark colour there instead and then black. I'll make all of these um, show in actual black colour down here. So you can tweak it once you're in this kind of master file as well to how you want it to be. So then what I'm going to do is click export web logos and here's where you can choose the folder that you want to export the files to. I'm going to go to her brand folder here and you can change her name and this will add that uh, to the file names. So I'm going to just put Wolf in this case and click create logo package. And then what you'll see is that automatically I'm literally hands off my computer right now. It is all doing this for me and flashing before my eyes. Um, it is creating all these different folders with the different versions of the files that you want to create. Um, which is awesome. It takes literally a few seconds and as I say, it saves me hours of time. Okay, so it's done now and I'm just going to open up one of these folders so that you can see that inside the folder you've also got all the different folders for the different colour types that you had. So if we click into black, you've got digital and then you can see all the different logo types that you're given. So the reason it says digital is because we've only exported the web versions of these logos so far. Um, I'm also about to go ahead and export the print versions and then there will be a second folder here that says print. Um, but yeah, if you click into this, you can see that it's here in JPEG, it's here in PNG, it's here in Illustrator file and SVG as well, which is everything that she could possibly need really. So obviously it's created the full logo in this folder here. We've got the logo type with tagline which is just it separates it out like that in case you did um, use that submark or that um, logo icon option as well but I won't need that folder. We've got the logo type which is just the um, and wolf name and then we've got the tagline in a separate folder here. So I'm going to click on make print logo. It'll make these all up again so I'll just need to go in and change the colour um, as I showed you just now. So let's grab this colour code again and hop back in. And where's black? Here it is. Okay, so that's all ready and I'm going to click export print logos, create logo package and it will automatically put the print logos into those folders that it's already created. And then I can go ahead and delete whichever folders I don't want, rename the folders um, and then move on to doing this same process for the submark and the alternative um, layout of the logo that I have as well. So the name of this magical tool is the Logo Package. It is an Adobe Illustrator extension and you can get it for Mac or Windows. I will leave a link to it in the description. Um, it is an affiliate link, which means I get a bit of a kickback if you do end up purchasing the software. Um, but you know, it's no extra cost to you and that's just a nice way for you guys to support my channel um, without you having to pay anything. So please do check it out via that link. Um, in terms of pricing, it is a one-time fee, which is awesome because it's no kind of subscription or anything like that. It's $119, which I think is around like £85, which is an absolute bargain because you pay for it once and you can use it for all of your clients for the rest of time. And as I say, it saves me so much time and think about what else you could do with all of that free time that you now have. And it just cuts out the really boring, tedious bit of creating branding and logo designs for people. So I definitely think it is a designer's best kept secret. If you want to find out more, head to the link in my description and thanks so much for watching.